Okay students, this is the second video and in the second video we are going to solve for question 2 which was for 25 marks. Um, question 2 states we are going to consider the same problem as question 1. We recall this was the problem for question 1. It was a cantilever beam fixed at a wall with a UDL running across it from uh, all the way and we deduce the expression for the bending moment as that expression which we solved and we pick the correct option so we're going to consider the same problem as specified in the question and then the question is asking uh, consider the same problem as previously specified with the bending moments and determine the most correct algebraic expression for the difference in beam angles from the tangent of the beam deflection at a point B with a coordinate XB and the tangent of the beam deflection at a point A with a coordinate XA where X is great, XA is greater than 0 less than XB which is less than L noting that point B is on the right hand side of point A and it gives an explicit expression for the difference in beam angles using the moment area first theorem accounting for the correct sign convention notation in terms of the variables um, and then it gives you a reminder of the correct sign notation for positive bending moments and negative bending moments using the formula and then using this um, results the question carries on um, and it gives you a hint the hint is the hint says this question is asking you to calculate theta b a and not theta b a using the moment area first theorem if you cannot calculate the bending moment for question one then refer to your textbook for the bending moment for the cantilever and then it gives you these various options that you have to determine right so let's go ahead and solve question two so question two is now going to be solved okay we can write the options in a more convenient notation so it'll be easier to decide which is the options. So option A
Okay. So these are the options for A, B, C, and D. And the question two is asking us to determine the correct expression for the difference in beam angles from tangent of the beam at point B and the tangent of the beam at point A. Hint, this question is asking you to calculate theta BA and not theta BA using the moment area first theorem. Okay, so that is what we have to solve um, at the end of the day. So we go to our textbook and we go to the section on the moment area theorem. And this is basically the formula that we would use. Integral A to B, M over E I, DX. That's the formula that we would use. So let's do the, the calculations for question two. So first things first, let's just write down the expression for the bending moment, which we determined was minus a half QL squared plus QLX minus a half QX squared. That's the expression for the bending moment using the formula in the textbook this is what we have to work out to solve for question 2 we substitute the information that is known We have to work out that integral. EI is a constant. It can be taken out of the integral and we just integrate the term in square brackets. So this would then just be 1 over EI minus a half QL squared is a constant. The antiderivative is minus QL squared x. Integral of QL x would be a half QL x squared integral of minus a half q x squared would be minus 1 over 6 q x cubed the limits are from x a to x b we then calculate it like so, expand out the terms minus and minus is plus minus minus is plus
right now the options for a b and c x a minus x b x b squared minus x a squared over there let's group uh, common terms we've got a half q l squared a half q l one six q a half q l squared a half q l squared one sixth of q so grouping the terms together Okay, that is for a half QL squared, um, a half QL, Okay, we just need to double check our calculations. Minus a half QL squared plus QLX minus a half QX squared, antiderivative minus a half QL squared X, QL6, this is right. This is equal to. That's right. There's no square term over there. That was a mistake. Okay. QL squared XA minus XB These two terms are taken care of A half QL Let's try and make sure everything is correct. Yep, that's correct. Okay. What do we have? We've taken care of a half QL squared. We've taken care of a half QL. And our last term is one sixth Q. Okay, that is the answer and then we can put in the flexural rigidity inside our terms basically put the EI at the bottom and put it as a numerator of a denominator so this would then be QL squared XA minus XB over 2EI plus QL XB squared minus XA squared over 2EI plus Q 
qxa cubed minus xb cubed over 6 ei. That is our answer. We have to compare our answer to the options A, B, C, D. We've got, comparing the terms, we've got a QL squared XA minus XB over 2EI. Option A, we've got XA minus XB QL squared over 2EI. Makes sense. We've got in our answer QL XB squared minus XA squared over 2EI. Option A, we've got the XP squared minus XA squared QL to VEI. That's making sense. And we've got a Q XA cubed minus XB cubed over 6EI, which is the same over there. So our answer for question 2 is A. Right, why is it not B? Looking at the signs, we've got an XB minus an XA. The sign is wrong over here. Our answer gives XA minus XB. Option B is having an XB minus XA. So the sign of this is wrong. Can't be option B. Looking at um, option C, we've got um, XA cubed over 6. We've got a Q, XA cubed over 6. That's right. It's making sense. This is correct. We've got a minus XA squared over 2. We've got a minus XA squared over 2. So in option C, this is correct. And then we've got an L squared Q times XA. Uh, L squared Q. Q times XA over 2EI, that term is right, and then we've got a Q XB cubed over 6, but there is no division by the flexural rigidity, so it can't be that, so option B is out of the question. Um, option C, XB squared, over 2 L squared XB over 2 okay in option C we've got a positive L squared Q XB over 2 I positive and our answer has negative so it can't be option C so option A B and C have terms that are incorrect and looking at the option D on the table XB minus XA the sign convention is wrong so BCD is eliminated because of the mistakes and our answer for question 2 is option A using this formula so the answer is theta BA is equal to QL squared XA minus XB over 2EI plus QL XB squared minus XA squared over Q E I plus Q X A cubed minus X B cubed over six E I. Right, and that is our answer for question two. Option A. We use the bending moment formula. We applied the moment area first theorem using our bending moment formula. We integrated it. We got an answer. We compared the answer to the terms in the option A, B, C, and we decided on option A by comparing terms. 
and that's our answer.